Hello, YouTube. Spazzy coming right at you. So I've been getting into Fortnite recently. Now, coming from a background of primarily MOBAs, I had a pretty rough time starting out. I had no prior aim or any other FPS slash third person shooting skills to fall back on. As I quickly learned that it would take some practice for me to actually start landing some shots on my opponent, I came across something that was pretty annoying. Even though Fortnite probably has the least of this in the genre right now, the downtime spent running around looking for materials, loot, made me feel pretty inefficient at getting better at the thing I needed the most to aim and fight properly. Either I would go, let's fight, and drop down into a city full of people and get one shot because people would find their guns quicker and have better aim than me. Or I would go, let's play it smart, and drop down somewhere where it's completely empty. I'd spend 50 minutes looting stuff, looking for people to fight, just to get sniped from somewhere, dying without even shooting one bullet during the entire game. Ah. All in all, practicing my aim as a newbie felt very inefficient until I found what I'm now going to show you the best drop spot. <laughs> And by the best, I mean best for you to start learning how to kill people. It's important before you start judging this that my goal when I set out looking for a spot was to find one that would give me a somewhat risk-free start, a good chance of equipment, and get me straight into the action without spending 10 minutes running around doing nothing. I didn't necessarily want to win a bunch of games. I wanted to practice aiming with the different guns and building mid-fight and all that jazz, which then in return would grant me then double use. So without further ado, let's get into my favorite drop spot that I felt helped me severely in learning the basics of Fortnite. Here we have the full map, and the spot I'm talking about is right next to Fatal Fields. Fatal Fields is, depending on the trajectory of the bus, usually highly contested. There's a lot of players, a lot of action most of the time, which is good, because we want to practice firing those guns and fighting. Now, you're not going to land in the middle of the fields. You're going to land just to the east of them. There's a small little rock formation right about here. That's you. That's where you live. No matter where you're coming from, you should be able to spot it easily. And as you're parachuting down, remember to look up, especially towards fatal fields, so you know how many players there are for you to kill. But also make sure to look around you, catch a quick glance towards the prison, so you know that no one's coming up behind you, before you drop onto the rock right here. Now, let's go over the loot. Immediately, there's one potential spawn in front of you, and one just below that. Then you drop down, and there is a chest spawning. Most of the time, you grab all of that, and below the chest, make sure you check that, because that's another potential spawn point, and then you move out. Now, when you do, make sure you look to your left and right, so you don't get flanked by anybody. And remember, in Fortnite, all the loot drops are random, so sometimes there's a lot of loot, sometimes there's not that much. But what's so good about this place is I've done this, I swear to God, at least 30 times now, and every time, I have at least enough to start fighting people, and often, I'm completely out. Moving on, you're gonna drop down into the little cave here. There are actually three spawn points right here. In this case, there's just a gun. Here's what it looked like another time. Keep on moving forward, move up, make sure you always keep an eye out around you, and then move into little mini forest you got here. There's one spawn point right in front of you, then check the big trees here, because there's usually a chest there, and then before you get into fighting, there's one last spawn point right here. Now, let's review. In this case, I got a blue shotgun, an AR, the new suppressed pistol, mini shield, bandages, I even have 60 wood without farming anything. I'm, I'm good to go, but now take Take a look at where I am a minute into the game. I'm at the southeast corner of Fatal Fields. I have my back relatively clear since I've been looking towards the prison in between looting. And this is why I love this spot so much and why I feel like it's helped me learning the basics of fighting in this game. I get to come into the fields with an advantageous position. I hear shots in the distance. I move up. I see a guy. Try popping with the silent. There we go. Good job. There's the other guy he was fighting. I'm trying to practice. As you can see, I'm, my aim is terrible, but I'm trying to practice that. And that's the whole point of this thing. And I hit him a couple of times. Shotgun for the kill. That's terrible. Uh, move back and there's a guy that's going to flank me straight away. I get to practice quick building a little bit. I want to try and get into a, a good position here. A little ramp there. Trying to peek. Here he comes. Shoot him in the face. And he survives with... Oh, HP. <laughs> Come on, dude. I suck. And now I can just repeat this. This is what it looked like the next game. I got like three kills and then I died. Here's the game after that. Unbelievable loot. I think I got like five kills there, then I died. Here's the game after that. And, and, and this is what I love. Again, I get to spend minimum time running around, looting chests, looking for players, but I still don't die immediately. I come in with an opportunity to start killing people. In this case, I even got to start rocket launching people, which is awesome to practice that because that's great for late game. Here I see a little dude. I follow it up with some shots and I get another nice little kill. Uh, this game, I think, actually goes quite far. Yeah, I, I do believe I... Oh, yeah, get him! 
good job. I do believe I end up like top 11 or something in this game, which is, you know, is fun too when it happens, but it's never the primary goal of this. I just want to practice shooting people, building, learning how to listen to where players can be and being a little better at the main part of the game. Here I get a rocket in the face kind of instant karma right there. So there you have it. If you are new to Fortnite and if you're new to the genre in general like I am, give this place a go. Uh, to me, it really felt like I took a bunch of steps towards playing a little bit better. As you can clearly see, I have a long way to go. Most importantly, I think I got to have a lot more fun playing the game this way. You know, when I've played like H1Z1, I felt like I've been running around, picking up a gun and I've been doing nothing and then I die all of a sudden. I'm like, okay, I can't even get good because there's not enough action for me to get good. I get bored. Here you get quickly set up, you can start shooting, practicing, because to me, the jumpy fighting, the quick building, all of that, that's, that's what's fun about this game. And of course, sniping people. Feels so good sometimes, you know. Here's another one. Oh. Nice. By all means, if you do have any other tips that you want new players to know, feel free to leave them in the comment below. I'll try and upvote the ones that are worthy. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial, I guess, and that you stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys a lot. This has been Spazzy, and I'm out. Do it!